This is Bricktown Silver. Welcome to my mind. You've entered the BS zone. I was cleaning off my desk the other day for uh, to make that video on my stickers and I happened to find some lost silver. Anyway, I put this bar up here so you guys could take a look at it. Because it looks like I don't get a whole lot of views on some of my stuff unless there's some silver up front. So, here's my silver up front. And I'm going to cut in here. and We've been mowing a lot here, so I'm going to cut in here and show you the mowing job. Well, I guess they're ready to quit for the day. They're starting to play around, not getting much accomplished. So I guess we'll just uh, let them have the rest of the day off. Bite. Is it no bite? Hmm. 
you pretty good looking little bull. You're gonna have to go to the market though. Don't need nobody with no more horns. Reminds me of my second wife when I told her I was going to take the cows to the town. She uh, got to wondering where they were when I came back home. That's as simple as she was. That's a couple of pretty good looking little girls. What do you think? Most people call them heifers though. I hope I'm not boring you guys with these little pictures here, but uh, I can sit here and watch them all day long. Well, here we are with the lost silver. And it's like old fish says, you know, what's better than one bar? Two bars. And uh, let's see what's on the back of that one. RMC, Republic Metal Corporation. That's the way they came too. I usually keep them in the bags. And what else I found over here? No Amex. American Precious Metals. A lot of times I forget to show you guys the back. And they look all scuffed up, but that's all on the plastic. And that's like I was telling the. Uh, guy I was listening to last, uh, Mad Stacker. I like to leave my stuff on the, in the plastic, you know. It might not look as good, especially on camera or whatever. And I believe he was showing us one of them in one of his last videos. I'm not sure if that's the same one he had or not. Got the buffalo on there. Who we say did that? Their mark there. Can't really tell. Probably a silver town or something. Yep, I found them and then I had another one there. These are some that I got at the coin show down in Grove about a month ago and I was showing some of it a little at a time there, and I put these back and went home for the evening and forgot all about them. There's a Morgan. I don't 
signals though, so you know, it seems like my camera always cuts stuff off. Got a real insufficient stacker up there. And then, there's another one that I've found that I completely didn't know what that was. And it's a... Royal Canadian Mint. 100th anniversary of the National Parks of Canada. I don't know what this side, maybe this is in Spanish on that side. Well, I believe it is, or maybe it's French, who knows. I'll see if I can pop that out of there. You got the queen, she's young there. You would never have thought that, huh? 1985 to 1885 to 1985. National Parks. Hey, I guess it's on French on both sides. I never knew that either. The dollar. Boy, it's kind of a, a nice little scenery there but anyway that's for the lost silver i'll uh, dig around in the mine there see if i can't find some i'm i got some uh ideas there might be showing you a full stack here for long i'll be thinking about it Well, the wind's coming up. Still a little bit of drizzle out here. Looks like they're all bedding down for the evening. So I'll shut down myself. This is Bricktown Silver. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Keep your silver dry. Oh yeah, before I go, if you like this video, be sure and hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, I appreciate you subscribing. And thanks for watching.